Sir Humphrey Gilbert was born in 1539, in Compton, England. The exact date is unknown. His father was Otto Gilbert, and his mother was Catherine Champanone. He was the fifth son, he had two brothers, Sir John Gilbert and Adrian Gilbert. He also had two half-brothers, Carey Raleigh, and Sir Walter Raleigh. He himself would marry in 1571, and Osha bore him six sons, and a daughter. Educationally, he would have been taught much the same as any noble-born son, in his case, his first tutor was Sir Henry Sidney. Later, he would spend time at Eton, and from there, on to the University of Oxford. At Oxford, he would have had lessons in Spanish and French, in navigation, and in the arts of war. His early career began as a soldier in 1562, serving with an English force at Le Havre. It was at this siege in New Haven that he received an injury. Once he had recovered, in July of 1566, he was serving under Sidney, the Lord Deputy, in Ireland against Shane O'Neill. On a visit to Queen Elizabeth I with dispatches, he took the opportunity to present his A discourse of a discovery for a new passage to Cathay. In 1570, having decided to settle down, he married and produced a family. In 1571, he became a member of Parliament for Plymouth. In 1572, he fought an unsuccessful campaign in the support of the Dutch Sea Beggars, opposing the Spanish rule in the Netherlands. Between 1572 and 1578, Sir Humphrey Gilbert dedicated himself to writing, but again his attention would be drawn to finding the Northwest Passage to China. In order to raise the funds for such an exploration, he arranges to settle English Catholics in America. This plan was unsuccessful. In 1583, a fleet was put together, including a vessel commanded by Sir Walter Raleigh himself, but due to lack of victuals he had to return to England. Gilbert and the remainder of the fleet successfully reached Newfoundland. Due to his nefarious behavior, Gilbert's entry into port was blockaded, but this situation was soon settled, and he landed. Having delivered his letters of patent, he formally took possession of Newfoundland for Queen and Country, and made arrangements to return home. Deciding to return on his hardy little ship HMS Squirrel, they set sail for England. Controversially changing the course of the fleet, and paying no heed to the more experienced mariners in the group, one of their ships ran aground and sank, with all but 16 hands left to rescue. Deciding to continue their journey home, they again set sail. During the voyage, Humphrey injured his foot, and made various trips to the Golden Hind to seek attention. Having been advised he would be better off staying aboard the Hind, as the squirrel was overgunned and unsafe, he still insisted on returning to the squirrel. Almost 900 miles from Cape Rays, they began to experience severe weather, and at midnight the lights of the frigate HMS Squirrel were no longer visible, she had gone down, with all hands. So it was, that on September 9, 1583, Sir Humphrey Gilbert drowned at sea.